In this week's Young at Heart essay, I write about a very personal garment, my bathrobe. Now, this bathrobe is 20 years old, and I cook breakfast in the morning in it, and I kind of use it as an apron. And um, it's, well, it's been, it's just been through a lot. This is not, um, that's some Clorox stains. But I want to talk about maybe giving up the robe for something a little, a better morning look. Young at Heart by Pam Young. Is it time for a new bathrobe? I decided it is for Terry and me. My robe is 20 years old and I bought it at a garage sale. It's heavy and comfy and if I write too much about it here, I'm apt to talk myself out of dumping it. Maybe I should keep it as a winter robe. On some of those cold winter nights, I've found such refuge in it. I also feel spiritual in it sometimes because it has a hood and when I put it over my head, I feel like St. Francis. Okay, okay, it's going in storage until November when my winter sweaters and coats come out of waiting. Terry's robe is another story. It's downright scary. It is blue plaid velour, and after the first washing, it lost most of its lure. And because the arms were too long, he cut them off and insisted I didn't need to hem his alteration project. So I didn't, leaving the ends frayed in strings that grow longer with every washing. The thing is, I never think to go bathrobe shopping, and only when I'm pampered with a luxurious white terry cloth robe in a fancy hotel do I think it's time to spring for a new morning look. Terry and I have changed our routine this year, and I don't shower, dress, and make the bed first thing in the morning anymore. Instead, we start the day around 6 with coffee by the fireplace in winter, and now as it warms up, out on our deck. Then I fix our breakfast in my robe and pajamas. After breakfast, we play four hands of gin rummy. We spend a good hour together in our robes, and we're quite a sight. St. Francis and the Blue Man. Terry loves his robe, mostly because his daughter gave it to him as a gift about ten years ago. I don't know about your husband, but Terry would never think to throw his robe in the laundry on his own. I swear he'd wear it for years without washing it. I know robes are a very private and personal garment. They're like a child's blankie or a favorite teddy bear. Have you seen the condition of some of those children's possessions? Terry's robe looks just like a child's well-worn blanket that's been loved and drug around for a decade, and he's not about to wash out the personal essence of himself that has saturated every fiber of its being. I want us to have matching white terry cloth robes, but Terry said we'll look like patients at some clinic. I don't agree. I think we'll not only look clean, we'll be clean. Since all our linens are white and I change them weekly, that would be the perfect time to wash our robes on a regular basis. I'm going to snap a picture of us in our robes and maybe when Terry gets an objective look at us, he'll agree to the new morning look I'm after. Or maybe not. <laughs>